Voice control is a really interesting new accessibility feature in macOS Catalina. It's designed to allow those that are unable to use a mouse or trackpad to still successfully navigate and utilize the entire Mac user interface. With voice control, it's possible to launch apps, create new documents, click buttons, dictate and edit text, scroll, create new tabs, and much more. I'm just going to do a quick demo in this lesson to go over some of the basics that anyone could find useful. Voice control exists in the Accessibility System Preference pane. It's activated by simply checking this box. With this checked, we get a microphone icon that floats on top of all the windows. This can be moved to any spot on the display. So I currently have voice control active. So I now have voice control active. Click the command button and we have a huge list here of things that we can say that voice control is going to recognize. There are several different categories here. First we have basic navigation and then overlays and mouse which will deal with making clicks. And then we have dictation and four large sections dealing only with text. Obviously, it'll take a lot of practice to remember all these commands and be able to control your Mac only with your voice, but that is now possible. So let's do a quick demo with Safari and Mail. I'm going to start with an empty desktop, and from now on I won't be using the trackpad on my MacBook Pro anymore, just my voice. Launch Safari. Search for MacBook Pro. Scroll down. Show grid. A couple of things to notice here. Each time I make a successful command that voice control recognizes, it gets displayed above the microphone icon here. The last command was show grid. This will let us click on a precise location anywhere on the display. I want to click this MacBook Pro link here. None of the current numbers will click exactly where I need to though, so I need to say the closest number and then zoom into the grid, and then I can tell voice control to click on that number. 10. Click 7. Scroll down, scroll to bottom, scroll to the top. Show grid. Four, seven, click three, copy this. Launch mail. New item. Mike B. Press return key. Next field. Next field. New MacBook Pro question mark. Next field. It might be time to start thinking about this, period. Press return key. Press return key. Paste this. Press return key. Press return key. Drew. Show grid. Three. One. Click twenty one. Hide mail. New tab. Okay, so I just launched Safari, searched for a term, navigated to a page, copied an address, composed a new email, dictated the subject and body, pasted that text sent the email, then returned to Safari and created a new tab. 
entirely by voice. And that's just scratching the surface with what this feature can do. When voice control is active and I open a menu, notice that each item gets a number. I could then just say a number to choose that item. 6 We can also sleep voice control to stop it from listening to commands and remove these numbers from menus. Quit Safari. Just click Wake Up to start making commands again. Quit Safari. Speaking of making commands, we're able to create our own commands for voice control here in System Preferences. We'll cover this in a separate tutorial. So voice control might be something that you want to try whether or not you have any issues controlling the mouse or trackpad. Just the ability to launch apps with your voice, rather than needing to find them in the dock or search for them, could really save some time.